Hey guys, Triple G here with... Super Sketch 300 And we are here going to be checking out some gameplay of the highly anticipated Final Fantasy XV or 15, whichever you prefer, 15 obviously. Very excited for this game for many reasons. I am a pretty big fan of Final Fantasy, but I can't say that I'm really a die-hard fan because I haven't been able to play all the Final Fantasy games. I played a good chunk of them, but not all of them, so I may not understand a large chunk of, let's say, the lore or the past stories or anything like that. But what I do like about this Final Fantasy game is that the writers did explicitly say that this is going to basically have its own separate story. You do not have to play the previous games to understand this one, which I really do like. And they're also saying that this one is unique in many ways, which of course is going to be the new combat system. Which personally, I'm looking forward to. I do... I do like the, uh, I guess you could say, breath of fresh air. They're trying something a little bit different. And from just what I can see so far, looks pretty good. Uh, any thoughts before we begin, Mr. Scourge? Well, just that, uh, like you said, I'm kind of the same uh, in the same boat with the Final Fantasy uh, games department in the sense that I stopped around like Final Fantasy X, and I haven't mm. really been playing them since the newer releases. I, and, and as you mentioned, you know, with this game having its own standalone story, I believe fourteen did the same kind of thing. But yeah. then they did 14 Part 2, which continued 14's story. Mm -hmm. So with 15, it's it's got the name Final Fantasy, and it's got a number, but really you don't need to have played any of the others to know anything about it. So Exactly. It bears the same name, because in the same universe, et cetera, et cetera, a lot of yeah. Japanese games do that. So no worries. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. Alright, so we've got Noctis, who basically is the main uh, protagonist of the game, or anti-hero. Mm -hmm. We're not really sure yet. Um, Gladiolus, he's basically like the brute of the group, if you will. So he's got the uh, the brawl of everything. Um, Ignis, he's like the technical genius of the group. The guy that wears the glasses of like the light brown hair. Mm -hmm. And then Prompto, who has um, the blonde hair, which I think is supposed to be the comedian of the group, okay. I think. Yeah. But I believe that's what their roles are. <laughs> Operation Snail going on here. What's with all this stealth? <laughs> is that what this is? Where's those flashlights coming from as well? Are there flashlights on their chest or something? I think so. Yeah. Well, I mean, right off the bat, we can pretty much say that Whoa. this is... Whoa! Shit, Whoa, okay. shit! <laughs> okay. Already into combat. Yeah. So, like, obviously the gameplay mechanics change completely as soon as you enter combat. Although, like, yeah. unlike the previous Final Fantasies, it's not, like, turn-based or anything. It's it's a lot like just kind of an action battle game. Like Kingdom Hearts, basically. Yeah, with some RPG elements mixed in, kind of. Well, Kingdom Hearts had RPG elements, but I think this uh, dives a little bit more into it. Yeah. In, in a way, I think this is obviously more mature and dark than Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, this is a very good uh, combat style, actually. I wouldn't mm -hmm. mind seeing something similar to this in the set in the Final Fantasy VII remake. Yeah, which yeah. me and Scorch are talking about. Um, we're pretty, like 99% sure that Final Fantasy VII isn't just going to copy the combat from the original game. We believe that they're going to have a combat system similar to this, or at the very least give you an option to um, have it be turn-based. But I'm pretty yeah. sure it's going to more than likely be like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, it, 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 it would make sense if it was like this, because they they have the combat system, they have the engine right here, they might as well just reuse it. Exactly. Because, I mean, 14 and 14 Part 2, you know, were the same, they didn't change in between games. And I mm -hmm. think 13 was actually quite similar as well, I might be wrong on that, but... If they have it, and it's good, they might as well just use it for 7. And it'd exactly. be cool, because, I mean, in 7, like... I'm not dissing games with like you know turn-based mechanics like Pokemon. Pokemon like that's that's a franchise that that lives on turn-based mechanics and it's a great mm -hmm. franchise. But um, for Final Fantasy VII and the die-hard fans who love Cloud and the other characters, it'd be nice for them to actually have like more like like they're playing as them, you know, and we'll just get in there and fuck shit up instead of like have a turn-based thing like they've pretty much gotten used to over the years. Yeah, that'd be nice. Make it different. Yeah, I do like oh. a new. Mm -hmm. um, combat system here and there. I get tired of when games kind of let's do the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah. You, know? you know there are going to be haters, though. Yeah. There are going to be loads Can't get away of haters. From those. Yeah. Now, if you notice during that combat fight, he actually 
Um, and while we're on the topic here, big shout out to my friend who lives in Germany that was uh, able to grab this game. To be honest, I'm not sure if this is part of the beta that you got with Lightning Returns. From what he said, he doesn't think it's part of the beta. I think this is a whole new type of gameplay. I don't think anybody's seen before, so big shout out to him. I don't think he has a YouTube channel, but if he does, and obviously I'll leave the link below to his channel in the description. Um, but yeah, but huge shout out to him, so thanks so much if you're watching this, man. I appreciate the gameplay video. Um, but if you noticed, he paused the game when I believe it was Ignis had low health and selected them, gave them the potion and whatnot. So you can kind of see they're taking similar elements from past Final Fantasy games and implementing a new actual combat system. Yeah. So they're taking some of the good parts and trying to improve on the already good ones. So he paused the game to use a, a health item. Yeah. See, like, I think, I think that's like a good... I think that's a good and bad thing in a way, because, like... It, 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 imagine having to use like open an inventory inventory screen and use a health item in combat. That'd be like really stressful, but also probably it'd be like quite like broken as well because you'd be you'd be getting attacked while trying to use health items. And I think the combat's too fast to to use health items anyway, as you're seeing. It's mm. too quick. Where the fuck would you be able to open a menu in this? You know what I mean? So it might as well just be pause it and do it there. Yeah, it has its pros and cons. I guess we just yeah. have to try it out for ourselves. See, as you can see right there, um, I don't know if you picked an item up or used it. It's say Antidote times one. I don't yeah. know if you saw that. Mm. But um, I'm not sure if he activated it or just picked it up, but I'm pretty sure he just picked it up. Yeah. Maybe you can switch it up where the game gives you like a hotkey. Like right here, for example. Yeah. See how he paused it and then gave the uh, character an item. Yeah, I like that actually. It's 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 pretty cool. Like you said, it feels kind of like an old school mechanic, but in a new kind of gameplay. Yeah, very good. And if if and um if this has what Fallout have, which is where um you could assign certain hotkeys, which basically means you could actually customize what buttons on the controller do what. So for example, you could have like a D-pad use a health potion. Like up on the D-pad uses a health potion, down uses mana, etc. Yeah. There's a rumor that it probably has that too, which would make sense. That would be cool. Mm. Yeah, this is very, uh... Some people are criticizing this kind of gameplay, though. Hmm. Which I don't know why. I think it looks good. I think it'd be addicting. <laughs> yeah, it looks quite... It looks like a, like a hack and slash game meets an RPG. Yeah. It's pretty good. And like you said, it, it's for kind of Kingdom Hearts-ish, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you noticed, but Noctis, who you play as, he has like this special ability that I think he's the only person in the Final Fantasy universe that has this, but he can materialize weapons during combat. Mm. So if you notice while he runs around, he's not holding anything, but when he attacks, you see a weapon appear. That's cool. And they're different weapons, too. That's so nice. you can choose what type of weapons you want to attack with. I don't know if it's going to show it in this gameplay or, or not, but uh, while we're here, we, we, have you seen any of the travel-like gameplay where you have a car? Yes. What do you think about that? I don't know. I think they were making it sound like a big deal when it was just okay to me. Mm -hmm. They were talking about, um, oh, you can get inside of the car and you can get outside of the car whenever. It's like, yeah, you're not the first. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, oh, thrilling. You know what I mean? Like, oh, look at this. You can walk on the yeah. road instead of driving on the road if you want. <laughs> then again, they were just translating it from what the uh, Japanese narrators were saying. Yeah. Is it, is it controllable, though? Is the car, like, can you play? Like, can you, can you drive the car, or is it automated? I don't think so. I think it's on me. I think, um... Ignis or somebody actually drives it around. I think. That's weird. I'm pretty sure you can't drive it though. That's strange. Honestly though, even if you can or cannot use vehicles in this game, it's not going to be a huge deal to me. No, it doesn't affect the game that much. Not at all. No. Unless there's a lot of it, which I highly doubt. What it's going to be is it's going to be just the bridge between 
areas. It's just going to yeah. be like they're driving and there's some kind of, you know, comedic talk between the characters as they're driving or something. That's all it's going to yeah. be. Are you going to like an open area that if you want to, um, you know, get some experience or whatever, or collect some stuff if you want, or you could just drive past all of it, it's up to you? Yeah. It's probably what it is. Because I think that I, I have seen some gameplay, I think, where there are enemies out on the road or in the fields and stuff yeah. that you can farm for. Yeah. Very RPG ish. Mm hmm. Notice how he can use different techniques. So we've only seen Tempest so far. Yeah. Interested to see what the others do. This is a very narrow place to fire. <laughs> <laughs> So what are we looking at here? Oh. We have a cutscene, holy shit! <laughs> he might be getting a new ability, that's what I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, the character models look nice. Yeah. People have, uh... Criticized, not well. So it's. I suppose it's not really criticized, but some people have said because it's odd that. Have you noticed? There's no female character in this group. Mm. It's like all guys, which is like the first one of the first times I think they've done that in a Final Fantasy game. Well, most people don't understand why they do choose to do it this way. I mean, to be fair, no one should really try to criticize it when the game is far from being out yet, because. For all we know, there's a huge explanation of why exactly there's not one in here, and there might be a larger female role right on. Yeah. So we don't know for sure, but I do know that this group of guys you're with is from this, uh, like this mafia family. Okay. And you're basically doing like these mercenary missions. Yeah. That's how much we know so far. That's the extent of it. So as you can see right here, we're just doing some fast traveling. Yeah. This is a very good looking game. Yeah, it is. I like how a lot of developers now are making open world games instead of just linear. Because mm -hmm. that's what people want. Yeah. I, I love open world games. Just linear games, unless they have really good multiplayer, they have no replay value at all. Exactly. I mean, you could play through it maybe two or three times on a higher difficulty or try to get stuff if you missed. If the game has different paths, then obviously that gives replay value. But most developers don't care to. It's yeah. a shame. Depends but on I the game, doesn't it? I suppose because if it's if it's yeah. if it's level based, if it's one of if it's a level based game, then then you get why it's linear. But if it's something mm -hmm. like this, then it's better. It's suited to be open world. Yeah. So yeah, what you think? Well, I can say it's probably one of the main reasons people who haven't already got a PS4 are going to get a PS4. <laughs> Yeah, although they're probably going to be releasing it to other systems, too. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Because the, the Xbox One and PS4 are very similar hardware, but... True. Yeah, I am super stoked for this game. We've only seen, like, the tip of the iceberg of what this has to offer. I want to see more of the... They haven't shown any, at least that I have seen so far, the hub area where you can... You know from the E3 demo where they were fighting like those giant dragons or whatever and that, like the city was being attacked? That's actually a, the hub area being attacked. Oh, okay. And they haven't shown a whole lot of gameplay of you being able to explore that castle that was in the trailer. They haven't shown any gameplay of that and I want to see that so badly to see what it's like. Hmm. So that's what I'm looking forward to as well. Yeah. But I think this game, I mean, so far it's looking great. No complaints for me, really. No, no. I mean, I could say, oh, I have some nitpicking issues, but, you know, usually when you criticize those kind of things, it's like, the game's not even out yet, there's very little things we can understand about the game, which I do like, to be fair, because this game obviously isn't going to be released till what, some point next year, probably, mm -hmm. and I do like how they're not revealing too much. I hate when games reveal too much. I do like how they're... They're playing the safe card, where they're, I hate using that word, but it's it suits the best. They're playing the safe card, they don't want to show us off too much to get us more hype for it. Yeah. So, I think that's a good job on them. Yeah. It feels very different, um, 
uh, from the world that this this one takes place in compared to what we saw in fourteen. Like mm -hmm. in the in the la in the latest few iterations of Final Fantasy, each world has been quite different. This one is very different. To me, this one feels more real. Yeah, it feels more modern. You know, with cars and shit in it. I mean, I'm not saying the others weren't like because like, there was technology in the other Final Fantasy games, but this one is more like real worldish. Yeah, because there's a lot of like geographic locations, I guess you could say, because we saw some, you know, cave gameplay, and there's been open field grassland gameplay and stuff. So very, like, I don't know, just realistic stuff, even yeah. though Final Fantasy isn't realistic. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sh I, I don't doubt that it's going to probably have something really over the top in the plot or something at the end, but uh, yeah. for the most part, they're using some uh, close-to-home real-world elements. Which is pretty cool. Mm hmm. So I think that's a good move on them, to be honest. That way, um, even if people that aren't huge in a Final Fantasy could just dive into it and not really mind it at all yeah. and have a good time. Yeah, guys, that's all we have to say. Um, other than that, I think the game looks great. I can't wait to see more. I'm going to try to get more gameplay videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll leave you guys to subscribe to the Triple G.